When you're getting to know somebody, probably the most important thing you wanna know is, is this actually going somewhere? You know as well as I do that time is your most important resource in life, and you don't wanna be investing your time, your attention, and your energy into a relationship that's not gonna go anywhere. What we've observed after working with hundreds of individuals and couples in creating a conscious relationship is that when a relationship is going somewhere, it tends to follow a natural timeline. It tends to unfold along a certain course. Now, of course, this is gonna vary person to person and couple to couple, but generally speaking, when two people have a sincere interest in each other, their relationship progresses in a certain way. I'm not talking about pushing it or pressuring it or forcing it to be something it's not. I'm saying that when two people have a sincere interest in each other and they come together to start a relationship, it tends to progress along these lines. And we've seen it time and time and time again. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the natural timeline of a conscious relationship and how quickly you should expect a relationship to progress when there is an honest interest and true potential for the relationship to go somewhere. Now, as I said, it's gonna vary a little bit person to person, couple to couple. So I'm not saying that it should be exactly like this to the day. But what I want you to recognize is that when a relationship is deviating too much away from this timeline, when you're getting way off track of this timeline, what you've got to recognize is there's something in the relationship that is preventing the natural progression of it. It's preventing the, the relationship and the two of you together from taking that natural next step. And what you need to do when you see you're getting too far off of this timeline is either recognize what's the blockage that's preventing us from taking that next step and resolve it or, or recognize that the relationship really isn't going anywhere and choose to move on outside of that relationship. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna break the first couple of years of a relationship down into three phases. The first phase is what I'm gonna call the discovery phase. The second phase I'll call the building phase. And the third phase is the commitment phase. Now, the discovery phase is you're just getting to know each other and establishing if you actually have any real potential together. And that takes about three months. That's the shortest phase I'm gonna speak about. The second phase is what I call the building phase, and this is after you've established that there's true interest and true intention, and you wanna honestly consider building a long-term relationship together. That's the second phase, and that's about the first year of the relationship. The third phase I wanna talk about, the commitment phase, is after you've been through that first year together, you've established that we want this, we like what we have, we think it's something special, and we think it's worth investing in long-term. And that's when you start making those more serious commitments for your future together. So first I wanna talk about the commitment phase. And as I said, this is the first three months or so of the relationship. Now, uh, as I said, it will vary a little bit person to person and couple to couple, but we found that it really doesn't take more than three months to get through this phase in 99% of the cases. And we've also found that many people spend a year or two years in this phase, sometimes even more than that. And if they were really paying attention and really honestly assessing where they stand in this relationship, it wouldn't have taken them more than three months. So this is where we make the most mistakes, is by allowing the discovery phase to drag on a lot longer than it needs to. And in the discovery phase, you're only really looking for three things. One, you're looking for the fact that we both are, want a serious relationship. We both are honestly looking for a long-term relationship. That's the first thing. Once that's established, which can be established very early on, once that's established that we're both looking for a long-term relationship, not necessarily with each other, that's it. That's all you need to do there. The second thing is you need to establish that you're actually interested in creating that with each other. So it's like, not only do we want a relationship, but we like each other, we're enjoying getting to know each other, and we wanna honestly consider that the, the real potential that we have to make this a long-term relationship. And the third thing you're looking for in the discovery phase is the, is the commitment to be exclusive and to say, yes, we're gonna give this relationship an honest chance and see the potential that we have together. So again, it doesn't take more than three months. Often it'll only take a month or two to establish these three things. And once you establish these three things, 
you're complete with the discovery phase. That's it. You've, you've established that you want a relationship, that you see the true potential of having one together, and you make the decision that, yes, we're going to be exclusive and we're going to honestly explore this relationship without uh, having other people be involved, without be, having it be convoluted by exploring relationships with other people at the same time. Now, once you establish those three things, you've moved on from the discovery phase and you've moved into the building phase. Now, the building phase is really a, a critical time in the relationship because a lot of people will move through the discovery phase but not do the necessary work in the building phase before they start making those long-term commitments. And if you don't lay the foundation here, it, you're gonna have a shaky future together and if you want to succeed in the relationship, you're gonna have to backtrack and, and do some work that you may have skipped over in the building phase. The building phase is when you exit the honeymoon period and you enter into the real life period where it's like, okay, we don't have our best face on anymore. We might experience each other in different moods. We experience each other on bad days. We experience each other with the stresses and the challenges of life. We experience each other's maybe a attachment patterns, whether it's avoidant or, or whatever it is, but you, you start to see the different sides of somebody. You start to experience the different sides of somebody and this should happen within the first year of the relationship because what is gonna happen when these things start to come up is you have the opportunity and it's, it's really a huge gift is you get to work through challenges together and you get to see how you work through challenges together. Some things you're looking for is when we have challenges, do we come together? Do we communicate openly? Do we share? Is there vulnerability? Is there intimacy? in our challenges? Are we leaning on each other? Are we supporting each other? Are we listening to each other and making the effort to accommodate for each other and, and help each other through these challenges? Or do we disconnect and do we grow apart and do we shut down, do we close off? Do we, do we respect each other in our disagreements or do we attack each other in our disagreements? And all of this stuff is really important. A lot of people think that a relationship is just about great times, but great times are great, but that's not what builds a relationship, really. Relationships are built through challenges, and when you, when you confront challenges in a loving and understanding way, that creates trust between the two of you. So if you can create these challenges with trust, then you've, you've laid a solid foundation, or let me say that differently. When you, come to, when you come to these challenges together and you handle them in a way that builds trust and you can learn to rely on each other and you start to get the sense that when I fall down, this person's gonna be there to pick me up and that when, when things aren't going so well, we're gonna come together and we're gonna work through it. That builds trust and this, this first year of the relationship, when you confront these first few challenges together and you start to work through them and come together, if you can do that in a loving and understanding way, in a compassionate way, and you can support each other and get through these challenges together, you build a foundation that's gonna carry on forward in your relationship. So that will bring me now to the commitment phase, which is the third phase. And this, this I say, you know, it, it starts to happen in the second year of the relationship, depending on what kinds of challenges you have. It might happen around 12 months. It might happen around 18 months. You know, it, it will vary a little bit. But the idea is that once you've, once you've established the commitment that you want to be with each other and you've worked through some challenges and you have some trust, you say, you know, what? I really think we have what it takes to have this be a long term committed relationship and you're ready to move forward. That's when you start making commitments like, so where do we want to go? Do we want to have a family? I'm not saying this is the first time you ever discuss that because you should have discussed that much earlier in the relationship. But this is when you start to make the decisions about it and you start to actually move forward with those plans, whether that's moving in together, whether that's starting a family, whether that's getting married, whether that's whatever else it might be that your vision for a relationship that you've been talking about all along, this is how I want my, our relationship to be, this is how I want it to look. You've been talking about this stuff all along. Now you start to make those solid commitments and move forward with them. What happens a lot of times is that people in the very early stages, even in the discovery phase or in the very beginning of the building phase, they start to make these commitments with each other. And sometimes we, we even see people get married and, and move in together and do all this stuff right away. But if they haven't gone through the work in the building phase, they often don't have a foundation and it can be even more challenging 
for them to take on those commitments. And then, like I said, they have to backtrack because they didn't do the work in the building phase. So what we found is that when a relationship is going somewhere, when, it's, when it has true potential, when both people are on board, it's not about forcing and it's not about making it happen. It, it's just naturally, this is how it unfolds. And you, you establish very early on that we like what we have here, we like each other, and we honestly want to explore with the, where this goes. And then you confront challenges together, you do some work together, and, and you build trust, and you build some depth in your relationship. And then you start making those commitments together, whether it's marriage, whether it's moving in together, whatever it is. But this is the natural progression of a relationship. And what I want to say, this, this is really the whole point of this video is that when you're in a relationship and one of the partners is preventing the relationship from taking that next natural step. So if you're a year in, but they still won't acknowledge you as their boyfriend or, or girlfriend, or if you're, um, if you're, you know, you've been together for a few years and they're not even interested in talking about marriage or, or those commitments, like what you need to understand is that the relationship is not taking that next natural step and somebody for some reason is preventing it from taking that step. And what you need to discover is why are we not taking that next natural step? That if we were in the flow and the natural progression of how a relationship would unfold when it's on track to go somewhere, if we're not taking that next natural step, what's going on? And you need to either uncover that and work through it so you can progress in the relationship or you need to come to terms with the fact that this relationship is ultimately not going anywhere and that it's, it's time to move on outside of that relationship. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to know, have you experienced this progression in the relationship? Have you experienced somebody holding up that next natural step of the relationship? And what was that about? Tell me about it in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching today.